Signalling in an open CCD is absolutely essential if you want multiple trains running on the same line without collision. First, we'll add switches to the entrances of both stations to allow trains to access either track. Next, we'll add our one-way path signals. These ensure the trains only move in the desired direction, making it unlikely for the trains to get lost by meeting each other midway. We'll now add our regular path signals. These work by allowing trains to move forward if it can find a path to its destination. We can control drag in order to fill it in. Now our trains will not collide with each other. It's really that simple. Now we have a third station that we need to connect. We need to ensure that the minimum turn distance is at least as big as our trains. In this example, our trains are three tiles long, so we'll also use a length of three. We'll connect all the lines together, but keep in mind that you only need to connect the input tracks to the output tracks. If you connect an input to an input or an output to an output, these lines will never be used by trains. Our final step will be to add our one-way path signals. It's important to put these at the intersections, like we have at the stations, to ensure the trains don't get lost, because that is the last thing you want in OpenCTD. It's as simple as that. Path signals work by checking if a train has a path to its destination. If the path is obstructed by another train, the signal will turn red. Remember this, and you will be completely fine. That's all there is to this video. If you have any questions, please let me know. Ta-ra!